Hello students, I am uh, Dr. D. Prince Winston, Professor, Department of uh, Electrical and Electronics Engineering of Kamraj College of Engineering and Technology. In this video, I am going to uh, present various type of uh, wind generators available for uh, wind energy conversion system. Three type of uh, generators are there, one is uh, screw gauge induction generator, second one is uh, permanent magnet synchronous generator and third one is uh, doubly fit induction generator. We can uh, see three type of uh, wind energy conversion systems one by one. First let us see uh, screw gauge induction generator based wind energy conversion system. This is the black diagram. First thing is uh, wind turbine. This uh, collect the wind energy and uh, through gear box it is uh, connected with the screw gauge induction generator. Gear box is uh, essential to increase the speed because uh, wind turbine speed is uh, very minimal. We have to increase the speed. For that uh, we need uh, this gear box and then uh, uh, from the screw gauge induction generator that uh, electrical uh, terminals connected to transformer from transformer it is uh, fed to power system that is uh, grid. For this uh, screw gauge induction generator we need a capacitor bank because uh, here we are using a screw gauge induction motor. Normally we know this uh, screw gauge induction motor operate in uh, lagging power factor surely reactive current requirement uh, will be there. So, during uh, starting of uh, this uh, wind energy conversion system initially we have to operate this system as motor for that uh, it uh, draws power from grid. This induction generator initially it run as motor after that only it is uh, coupled with the wind turbine and the speed of uh, the shaft is uh, brought to more than the synchronous speed because we know the condition for uh, uh, operating screw gauge induction motor as uh, generator. We have to bring that uh, speed to above synchronous speed. For that uh, external input is uh, needed. Here we are uh, giving with the help of uh, uh, gearbox from turbine. Okay. The drawback, main drawback in this uh, screw gauge induction uh, generator based wind energy conversion system is requirement of capacitor bank. Initially, uh, the plant can uh, install a capacitor. After that, due to aging and uh, fault, if uh, capacitor uh, failed, me the voltage uh, becomes uh, fluctuating. Surely, it will affect the entire uh, power system. That is the main drawback of uh, screw gauge induction generator based wind energy conversion system. Next, we see uh, DFIG based wind energy conversion system. DFIG is nothing but a doubly fed induction generator based wind energy conversion system. This generator is nothing but a slip ring induction motor based generator. So, nothing but a slipping indu induction motor. Here if you see the connections established from rotor as well as stator. So, as like a screw gauge induction motor we are receiving a wind power with the help of a turbine and then through gear box we connect the shaft of DFIG with the gear box. And if you see a stator line there is no power converter directly it is uh, fed to transformer uh, from transformer it is uh, again fed to that utility grid. Whereas uh, in uh, rotor side we are using uh, two converters as well as uh, filters okay to control rectifiers even uh, we say control rectifier. So, this uh, bidirectional converters are used to control the power flow between uh, uh, this rotor of uh, doubly fed induction generator and the grid. Okay, let us see how it is uh, operate. In order to uh, maintain the frequency of uh, grid as well as uh, frequency of uh, DFIG output, we have to maintain the rotor speed at a constant rate. For that we need to vary the speed of uh, rotor with the help of uh, this uh, uh, rotor side control. How we can uh, control means? Already uh, we studied in uh, slip ring induction motor. In slip ring induction motor, we can uh, vary the speed of uh, induction motor through slip power recovery schemes. If you give power to rotor, the speed gets increased. If you extract power from rotor, speed gets decreased. This is the concept used in uh, doubly fed induction generator. To maintain a speed of uh, rotor as a constant one, here power from uh, grid is uh, fed to the rotor through these converters. See this uh, power AC line is uh, converted into DC power 
and then this DC power is again converted into AC power and it is uh, fed to the rotor of uh, W fed induction generator. We want to reduce the speed, you can extract the rotor power and it can be delivered to the grid. How it happen means uh, this uh, AC to DC converter extract power from uh, rotor and it converts it into DC and then DC power is again converted into AC with the help of uh, this converter and it is uh, fed to the grid. Thereby you can uh, maintain the speed of uh, doubly fed induction generator as a constant one. So, there is no need for uh, power converter in the stator line. This is the main advantage of uh, doubly fed induction generators. Nowadays uh, modern wind energy conversion systems all are using uh, these type of uh, generators. And uh, next important uh, generator is uh, PMSG based wind energy conversion system. This is uh, used for uh, low power uh, rating uh, systems. Here if you see power is uh, collected with the help of uh, wind turbine and then again gearbox is used to increase the speed of uh, shaft and it is uh, connected with the PMSG generator permanent magnet synchronous generator. And then this uh, output of uh, uh, PMSG is uh, connected with the AC to DC converter and then it is connected with the DC to AC and through filter it is uh, given to transformer and from transformer it is connected to grid. Here the advantage is whatever the rotating speed there is no problem it directly converts that power into DC power. That DC power is uh, converted into AC power at a required voltage and frequency the help of uh, filters and coupling transformer it is again fed to the utility grid. Here the main advantage is at lower speed it can extract power from wind that is the main advantage of PMSG based wind energy conversion system. If you compare these three generators DFIG is most advantageous because it does not need a converter in the stator side here it needs converter in the stator side all the generated power flow to the grid through these converters. This will lead to more power quality issues like uh, harmonics and uh, other type of uh, transients will occur. Whereas in the case of uh, doubly fed induction generator there is no converter is there only rotor side. In rotor minimal power flow will happen. So, nothing is the issue in the uh, rotor. In SATA side no power converters are there, so no power quality issue like uh, harmonics and uh, transients. In rotor side converters are used, but power flow is very minimal. So, there is no uh, issue in using uh, power converters in the rotor side. Thank you.